Hi everyone, I wanted to go over what you're getting in the mail. So in the mail you're getting week three and week four in your envelope and they're paper clipped together and clearly labeled third week, fourth week. So stick the fourth week in the envelope somewhere safe and we're going to look at what you're going to have in the third week packet. Okay, so the most important part is the gold sheet. It has Ms. Steely and Ms. Killingsworth's contact information and an overview. And then on the back is the checklist of every assignment that we are grading that we need a picture of. Now, the ones that are marked out, we don't need. Okay, we made this list before the new grading policy came into effect. And so we marked off a couple so that you didn't have as many. So the ones, all these, it says we need a photo of, and that's because we are grading these for your students' grades. Um, down here, it lists the bonus materials. The, these materials are for the parents who requested additional work for their students, who, um, who just wanted some extra review. If you are feeling overwhelmed and you don't have time for that, don't worry about it. Set it to the side, save it for this summer when there's a nasty day and the kids are stuck inside, you can pull it out and say, hey, go review some of your second grade work. Okay, so on the checklist, I'm gonna go over the ones that you're gonna take a photo of, okay? This you're not taking a photo of, we are posting a video of it. It goes over the poetry characteristics and examples. This is the poetry packet that you will be taking some pictures of. Miss Steely already posted a video of it. You're gonna be taking three pictures out of here and posting back to Miss Steely and Miss Killingsworth. This is the social studies pamphlet. Now in this pamphlet are two white pages. The white page that has a number 15 at the bottom, oops, sorry, the number 15, you can set that to the side. That's one of the ones that we marked off. So you can set that to the side. You do not have to do it. We do not need a photo of it. Just the pamphlet and then this extra white page which has number 16 and 14 on the bottom front and back. Then we have an insect research packet. Now we're not going to do every page in this insect research packet. Uh, some of the pages we're going to tell you to mark through and cross out. The only pages we're asking for pictures of this week are the cover page and then when you open it up you'll have page two and then the next page is listed as page seven you're going to fill in page seven first it's a quick write you're going to write everything you can think about of your insect and then you're going to go back over to page two and you're going to evaluate your paragraph you're going to reflect on how you did on your writing and that's all you're asked to take a picture of for this week now for your insect, we sent home ladybug information and butterfly information in your previous packets. You could do one of them, or if you have access to the internet, to other books, you can pick any insect you want to do. That's all the items besides your math pages that we are asking for photos of. Your math pages are in your math book and you should have that at home. All the extra materials in there are lit labeled as extra. There's extra math, which has some measuring and some addition and subtraction, and there's extra handwriting, spelling word practice. There's also a manila booklet. You can choose to use this how you want. You can make a book out of it and share it. You can use it as a journal. Some of you might have been running out of journal pages, or you can use it as an um, science observational journal send the kids outside have them record the animals they see in their backyard the plants they see the habitat of their backyard okay it's up to you um now this video is going to be the first one you see on your link if you notice there's a playlist with all the videos that you're going to be that you're going to find useful for this week we have included all the ones walking through each page of your packet, reading them out loud so that if you don't have time to, you can hit play and, and we will read it to your student for you. Um, there's also a high frequency word practice. Uh, when we're in school, we go through those words every day. So if your child needs something to do during the day, you can have them go back and practice that again. 
Um, I hope everyone's staying safe. Thank you.